Hi everyone, I'm Aaron Rupp. If you've made it this far in my curriculum, congratulations, because you have learned quite a bit of information just to get to where we can finally run a CMM report on our projects. Now I have our first advanced CNC milling project. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through the steps on how to power up this machine. I'm gonna go through and power up my computer, and then we're gonna actually run the program over my part and then we're gonna see what that readout looks like. So let's get started. So what we have here is a CMM, which is a coordinate measuring machine. We're gonna come all the way down here and I have a switch for power on. I'm gonna turn that on. You'll see that my light does come on. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look down here at my handle. Now right here, I'm going to release the e-stop and then I'm going to wait just a few seconds because my machine is powered up, but I need the control on. So I'm going to push and hold and you'll hear a little click, but you will see that it does turn green. Now, this is all we need to do to prep my CMM before we get our computer going. So let's go over there and let's get it turned on. So when you walk up to your computer, if it is off, you just simply turn it on or if it's blinking, We'll come up here and we'll just hit the space bar. Now this software is a bit old, but it will still run our parts efficiently across the software. When this comes up, it does have a generic login. Now from here, you'll notice that I do have some folders here that say mill inspection part. Well, I'm doing the first one. So we're gonna grab mill inspection part number one, and you'll see this folder pops up. And I do have a blueprint, so I can come back and reference back to this here in just a moment. But I'm gonna minimize that now I want to open up this PC DMS program. So I want to open up the one that says .prg. I can double click on it or I can click on it and hit enter, but we'll give it a second to open up. Now when this first opens, I'm looking at it saying two millimeter tip. Now there's different tips that can be coming on. Well, I know that the two millimeter tip is my yellow tip that you see over here to the side. Now I'm going to click OK. Now this is the first time I've ever turned on this machine. So it wants to move to the home location. So if you notice, it is initializing by moving to the home location and it does say that it is initializing the machine. Once it is initialized, you'll see all this pop up. Now there is not much we have to do right here. Now if you'll notice, I have little stoppers right here for how to load the part in location. And then I have this plate right here. So what I need to do is I need to come over here and count to make sure from this beginning hole that these stoppers are in the right location. Once I check that, I will simply load the part in position. I will come up to here and push execute. So let's check that out real fast. Now if you look right here, I have my table set up just like it is on my PC Demos. You'll see from the first hole I come over three times and you'll see that I come up to this location and it is circled because I am using these quite a bit. Now if one of these is in the wrong location, you just would unscrew it because that's all it is. It's just a little screw with a little stop on the top of it. So I can see that these are in the right locations. So I take my part, I put it flat on my table and then I pull it against my two pieces right there and then I move it against my stop right there. That is all I have to do. Now, if I had to move my stopper from here to there, I would just unscrew it, push it there, but all of my parts will come up against two stops and then go up against another one, and that is it. So now that I see that my stops are all in the right location, my part's against it, I wanna click up here and make sure that it is on the word file header. Now, sometimes it might show to be down here on print report, not a big deal. I'm just gonna scroll up, select file header, and hit play. Now it's going to say, hey, do you want to load this part and rotate to this location? I do want to rotate to that location. As you can see, I will have identifiers on my probe and on the pivot points of my CMM head. So it should look just like it does in this image. I will click OK and then it's going to say it wants to start checking the part. I will click OK and then it will start. So the first thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna see my probe is going to establish its first plane, and then it's gonna probe its second plane, 
after it probes all the points on the table. Now it's going to come and establish its second. And then after it establishes this one, it's going to go on the left side of the part and it's going to establish a third plane. This is called the iterative alignment. And that way the machine knows exactly where the part is. And then once it establishes all three of those points, it's going to take off and start measuring my part. So let's check it out. And just like that, I am all done. So at this point, I can take my part and we can go see how it looked on our readout. So on this readout, you'll see that I have some trace fields right here just for information. So the last person that was named Alex on here. So I'll just hit OK. I got the student name, instructor name. That's me. This is the million inspection part number one. I'll simply click OK and then it runs my report. Where's the report at? Well, what it's doing is it's running a report just like this. And you can see that I have some dimensions that are in tolerance and I have some dimensions that are out of tolerance. But what's really cool is you're gonna have to find out exactly what those are. So everything looks to be in tolerance except for this right here. So what I'm gonna do is I need this read. I need to keep this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up that file where that was at, and you'll notice that it just printed off a readout. And if I open this up, you'll see that it has the CMM operator, it has the student name, it also has the date, it has me as the inspector, and the mill inspection part number one. So I can see that a lot of these dimensions are intolerance, but I got this one right here, which is two and a half inches, plus or minus five, it says it's right at top tolerance. Well, I wanna know where that's at. So if I open up my part right here, you'll see that I have a blueprint and it's looking at this right here, that two and a half inches right there. And if I wanted to, I could get my micrometers and I could check that dimension and it will more than likely show me that I'm at top tolerance. So the good news is now we can simply take our readout. We're going to copy it we're gonna paste it onto a USB, and then we're gonna upload it to our assignment. But if you're just using CMMs in general, we're done. So the only thing we have to do now is come up to the X, and I'm gonna just close it out. And just like that, we have inspected our part on the CMM. Now, if I came up to this machine and it was already on, and as you can see, we just got done inspecting a part. If I needed to come through and inspect part number four, I would simply do the same thing. I would open up folder number four. I would open up the program for number four. I would hit OK. Because the machine is already on, I don't have to home it. I simply have to make sure these positions are correct, load my part in, and I simply hit execute. So again, thank you for watching. My name is Aaron Rupp. I hope you enjoyed this. And to my students, let's get these parts done and let's get them inspected. Thank you for watching.